Hi everybody, welcome to my class. Today I'm going to solve a problem from algebra, uh, which is from grade 10 compulsory mathematics book. And this is a frequently asked question by the students, as well as this question is very, very important to most of the internal exams, as well as the SC exams. So this is a problem from algebra which is frequently asked question by the uh, grade 10 students. So let's see how to do this. So here you can see the fraction. So before going to solve this, you first observe what are given here, and then you see that what we have to prove, and then try some strategy and go ahead. So here you can see that this sort of relation is given that P plus Q plus R equals to zero, and then we have to prove this sort of thing equals to one. That means we can get a uh, few things from P plus Q plus R equals to zero. So what you can get actually that if you use this, then it is going to be if you require uh, P plus Q value, that means if you, if you transpose this to, to us right, then this is going to be minus R. And also if you require P and Q, not the P and Q, but P plus R, for example, so P plus R, and if you transpose Q to R to the right, then it's going to be, because this is plus, it's going to be minus Q. And also you can see, if you require uh, Q plus R to R to the left side, then the right side, if you transpose, you need to transpose this P, it's going to be minus P. So this sort of uh, given things we can use in order to prove this sort of algebraic equation here you can see that so i'm just taking one by one you can take all the time uh, if you are if you become used to of solving so this kind of problem so first of all this is good idea is that while at this learning uh, you can write it is one plus x p and you know that x to the power anything minus so this is p sorry yes then if it is minus power, so it is x to the power one by x to the power q. So you know that because x to the power minus one, the inverse of uh, x, that means it is one by x and x to the power minus n, for example, it is given. So by using the law of indices, it is one by x to the power n. So the same sort of thing I have applied here. And then one was here. And this is also possible that in some way, you can see that we want to make x to the power minus q as positive. So this is also possible that uh, you can keep this way. This is one by, it is one plus x to the power p plus x to the power minus q. And I want to eliminate this minus thing. So what you can do, you can multiply in both numerator in denominator by x to the power q and x to the power minus q because you know that, sorry, this is plus q same thing we have to do so because if you uh, in the denominator you can see these are in the multiplied form so by the law of indices uh, these uh, powers will be added so after that you will have it is a one uh, uh, one time x to the power q as x to the power q and to the denominator it is uh, as you are multiplying with x to the power q here so one times x to the power q is x to the power q and then x to the power p plus q because when you multiply it with x to the power p, and then power and power will be added. And finally, it is x to the power minus q, and this is plus q, so power power added. So after that, you'll have it is x to the power q, and then it is x to the power q is already here. And then plus, you know that x to the power p plus q, if you use uh, in terms of that, as you require, then you can write in place of x uh, p plus q as minus r. So it is x p plus q and then plus it is q and q cancel out it makes power zero and then it is x to the power q and then x to the power q is here plus x to the power p plus q when you need you can convert that in terms of r and then you know that x to the power zero means this value is one so you can go this way also but at this time i am uh, going in this way by taking the lcm of this of the sort of thing here so after you go ahead from here, it's going to be like this. 
So in the denominator, your LCM is going to be x to the power q. And then you know that the how to add the fraction thing by taking the LCM of the denominator, it is one and one. So it is one times of x to the power q is going to be q. If you like, you can write one times x to the power q plus here you have x to the power p p and because in the denominator it has one so the one divides x cube by x cube so it gets multiplied with x to the power p so, so it is x to the power p times x to the power q and you know that x cube x cube divided they make one so one times one is one and here we still have one now what you can do further is that as this is in the denominator of the denominator so it will go up by the law of algebra so it is x to the power q and then divided by it is x q means it is x to the power q plus you know power and power added so you can write here x to the power p plus q and you have one over here this one now write in order or otherwise let's go one step more ahead so it is x to the power q and then it is x to the power q and plus just now we have seen that in place of p plus q you can write minus r you have to check how it is applicable so at this time i feel this is applicable so i write x to the power p plus q as x to the power you can see here this is minus r all right and then further we are left with one and firstly, what we got actually that the denominator of first has now became the denominator of second. You can see x one plus x to the power q, so it is one x to the power q next to the power minus r, so x to the power minus r. So let the numerator whatever be there, we'll check later. So after that, write in the order of the second term here. So it is one divided by you can write one at first, and then next is x to the power q, so x to the power q you can write here, and then plus x to the power we are remain with minus r all right so we have broken the first term and when you compare for this term broken from first and second they are the same term so just we leave this term as it is all right so we have seen the denominator of first term has uh, become now denominator of second term so we do nothing with the second term we just keep it like that but now let's try for the third term if we can resolve this th third term into the uh, some kind of denominator things uh, of these two terms which is one plus x to the power q plus x to the power minus r so let's go ahead so i'm starting with Uh, the last term, uh, which is 1 by x plus r plus x to the power minus p. So let's see how it goes. So here you can go ahead after this term is that, uh, yes, when uh, add up the similar steady, or you can know that it is 1 by it is 1 plus x to the power. So r, if you put here, instead of r, if you like, if you put so from here just now we are seen also so r equals to, you can write both the things we when it goes to us on the side then when you transpose to us right this is minus p and minus q so that minus p plus q so instead of this power r you can write here the power as minus p plus q all right and here we already have now in the third term x to the power minus p. Here also I have, I'm taking x to the power minus p. So plus it is x to the power minus p. All right. And now do the similar process or otherwise as you feel it is easy to you. So here what I'm going to do is that I'm taking the LCM of, uh, no, first of all it is one. One is already here. So this is one plus if it is negative power. So by the law of indices, you can write here one by x plus. P, no, x plus p plus q and then this is again negative power negative p so it is going to be one by x to the power p and after that from this step now another step you require is that to take the lcm of this denominator thing denominator of the denominator things so it is x to the power p plus q 
and then another denominator thing is here x to the power p and you know that yes so these are x to the power p plus q and this is x plus p so if you take lcm here then by a law of uh, fraction addition you can check here that it is one so nothing the denominator so both the things will be here get multiplied with one so it is p plus q and then this is x to the power p over here and now we have one so you can see in the denominator of x plus uh, denominator of one is x plus p so x plus p x plus p they got cancelled out so x plus p times one is here x plus p and then lastly we have here as in the denominator x plus p so this x plus p x plus p they got cancelled out so one time of x p plus q is here x p plus q so at this point we have to pay a bit of attention because this is a bit of a tricky point than uh, previously we have done just now uh, for the first term and then if you go further ahead you can see here that this sort of thing are in the denominator of the denominator thing so it goes off by the law of algebra or the you can say it is the law of fraction division so it is x to the power x this is x p plus q and then it is x to the power p it goes up they go up yes now here you can see here that x p plus q so can you take x p common from here yes it is possible but let's write one term so it is x p plus q and we have one extra term as it is xp now it is xp and this is x to the power p and then you can just separate this power as the power can be added like this p plus q you can separate this like x to the power p and x to the power q all right now you can see, uh, yes, now you can see after this term in the denominator, uh, numerator things, you can check like this. Upside it is P plus Q. So what you can write here again from here, P plus Q, if you transpose this R to the right side, so in place of P plus Q, you can write here X to the power minus R, and it is here X to the power P, all right? And here again in the denominator, what we have with is that uh, it is yes. Uh, you can take x to the power p common out now. So this is x to the power p. All right. So one x to the power p has gone out. So it is x to the power p plus q. You can again write this as minus r. Minus r is remained here. Yes, for p plus q because x uh, to the power p has gone out, and then plus here x x to the power p we have taken out, so it is only left with one over here, and then in lastly one x plus x to the power p has taken out common, so it is remained with here x to the power q, and then uh, like term can cancel out x to the power p and x to the power p, and then what are you left with? Finally, is you have like yes here you have only x to the power minus r and here you can see this is one so you can write at first this one in any order you can write and then plus x cube you can write and then you can write this as plus what is left x to the power minus r so you can write here x to the power minus r now can you check the denominator if it is matched with the other denominators that we have solved yes finally we got x to the power minus r divided by 1 plus x to the power q plus x to the power minus r in place of 1 by 1 plus xr plus x to the power minus p. Now, next step we do is this den uh, denominator. So, we can see the denominator are the same. So, LCM is definitely going to be 1 plus the same thing. It is x to the power q and then plus x to the power minus r. And then upside, yeah, uh, same thing, same, same denominator. So it is x to the power q, one remains one, and plus x to the power r remains x to the power negative r remains x to the power negative r. Now you can write this order of the denominator because you can write this in any order. One plus x to the power q plus x to the power you have it is minus r 
c cube and the denominator again we have one plus x to the power q and then plus x to the power minus r and you can see both the denominator and numerator are the same so they are cancel out each other so this is one da and c one da so in fact this is one by one equal to one. <coughs> hence this is proved Okay guys, this is all for now and thank you for watching.